Well, Biscayne Bay is really a dangerous at a dangerous tipping point right now where if we don't immediately address all the land based pollution that's constantly being dumped into it, we could lose that fragile seagrass system that gives the bay life. And one of the critical pieces to solving this puzzle is upgrading our stormwater system countywide. Tonight in our ongoing series, Don't Trash Our Treasure, we're showing you how the city of Miami is stepping up. Miami's Little Havana was recently deemed a national treasure by the National Trust for Historic Preservation. So why are the streets inundated with trash? There's trash all over the streets here. Christine Rupp is the director of the Dade Heritage Trust, working with the nonprofit Healthy Little Havana to clean these streets up and preserve this historic neighborhood. Little Havana has just become a dumping ground for people. So there's very little enforcement here by the city. A short walk down a single block shows you just how bad the littering problem is. Almost all the storm drains are clogged with trash. Some have grates to prevent that debris from going in. Most do not. They don't understand that this goes right into the bay. Little Havana may be four and a half miles from Biscayne Bay, but you can see its environmental footprint every time it rains when all that street trash gets swept up into our stormwater system that then dumps it all right into the bay. And it doesn't all come from Little Havana. From Edgewater to Morningside, the scene is heartbreaking. After a rainstorm, this is the floor of the bay. Morningside resident Catherine Mikesell regularly swims the bay with her friends. Over the past seven years, the amount of trash she's seen flowing out of the outfall here is overwhelming. You're not swimming over the floor of the bay. You are swimming over mounds of trash. You are literally stroke for stroke swimming over a rainbow of cans. It's, un it's unbelievable. After a heavy rain, they don't even swim anymore. Instead, they pick up trash. This is what we gathered in less than five minutes. If we don't pick it up, it's, it's just going to get dispersed throughout the bay. The constant tidal wave of trash entering Biscayne Bay from this outfall has gotten so bad, the city of Miami has contracted a company to install netting here to trap the mounds and mounds of litter before it enters the water. On March 23rd, contractors are out here measuring the outfall for netting like this that will be installed in August. It seems like such an obvious solution. It may help here at Morningside, but there are 480 outfalls that dump into Biscayne Bay in the city of Miami alone. This is a pilot program that if successful, will be replicated at other outfalls throughout the city. We're looking for any new ideas that keeps garbage out of the bay. The city is also investing $270,000 in installing 1,000 curb inlet screens at storm drains or catch basins in downtown Miami to prevent all that litter from even entering the stormwater system. As a matter of fact, it was last summer's fish kill that kicked the program into high gear. Seeing something this traumatic allows us to be able to, to act faster. There are 28,000 storm drains in the city of Miami. All these solutions move the needle forward, but the only way to truly solve the problem is to wake everybody up. The constant littering happening all over Miami-Dade County has to stop. Getting residents to care, I think, has to start with educating them. It's not good for them, it's not good for the neighborhood, and it certainly isn't good for Biscayne Bay. Our storm drains need major help, but it's up to each municipality to upgrade them. The county has no jurisdiction. North Bay Village, for example, just initiated its own stormwater master plan, making reducing and eliminating trash from its storm drains a top priority. The county is urging all Miami-Dade cities to do the same. Remember, if you'd like to do more and get involved, look for the Don't Trash Our Treasure tab on our website, local10.com.